Good afternoon everybody, it's the 21st of June and it's Father's Day in the UK so happy Father's Day to everybody. In fact, 21st of June also um, is Alfie's dad's birthday. I suppose it's still is his birthday even though he's died. So um, he died unfortunately on our first wedding anniversary. Um, in 1966 and he was he was um he died of a heart attack and he was only 56 so you know that was sad anyway happy father's day i've got to ring about alfie shortly so yes i am gonna um comment a little bit on tom mills and the fact that he has a new girlfriend and a new van, let's not forget. We mustn't forget the van. And um, what was it he said? This is the most exciting van. And I met Andrea. All in the same sentence. Pretty insensitive. And I think it's fairly insensitive also to um, introduce or bring into the mix a new lady, a new girlfriend on the 10th monthly anniversary of your wife's death. You were going to be doing a vlog of um, regarding Andrea on the 10th anniversary and you have now Put that back, I suppose, to introduce your new lady and that new van, 15-seater. All transit, is it? 15-seater. Not sure how much that would have knocked you back, maybe £20,000 UK, 20 to 30. $30,000 maybe. So the GoFundMe's come in pretty useful, hasn't it? Possibly for your girlfriend's trip also. I'm not here to criticise you having a girlfriend or you having a van, in fact. And um, if all works out between you and this new lady, April, then I'm very pleased for you both. I really am. And I hope it does work out. The only thing I'm doing is questioning the timing of everything. You know, little kids, they not only can't understand the concept of death, they don't realise that it's a permanent state that their mother is never going to be walking back through that door. And they'll probably be thinking, what will mommy think if April is here? Um, that's the younger children. The older children, of course, they're going to have to contend with daddy's giddy dizziness over, as you said, Tom, in love, love, but you've only met her twice. This is only your second meeting. You've only known her a month online. Love doesn't come round like that um, after a certain age. And I mean, the kids, you know, they, they confused, they confuse lust with love, don't they? But I would think that by the time you get to middle age, and certainly by the time you get to my age, um, you'd be a little bit more discriminatory and understand that lust does not equal love and neither does someone coming into your life to fulfil a certain need. Um, and it makes me wonder really, with the YouTube channel, that um, April didn't know about at first. Um, how is she going to feel 
and this isn't a knife digging at anybody, but how is she going to feel attempting to live up to the memory of a saint, which actually Andrea wasn't. She had her thoughts like all of us do, but um, she's been treated as though she's a saint. And I did see, um, not whilst, it was live, after the live, this morning in fact, um, people asking um, April, can you sew? Can you cook? Blah, blah, blah. What does it matter whether she can sew or if she can make chicken alfredo and does it come up to Andrea's standards? You know, not that they asked those latter questions, but I'm sure it was in their minds too. And I'm sure that um, it was in their minds to ask a lot more personal questions also. Um, is the girlfriend one that you want because you feel that she is a love interest for you or because she fulfills a role as stepmother to your children? How does she feel about you saying you and Andrea were like one person and almost saying that nobody could ever match up, measure up? How will April feel knowing or feeling that you view her as second best at best? I just think it's the wrong time as well that, that, and everything's off with this. Um, you know, you've introduced her to your kids without first getting to know her yourself properly, getting to know exactly what sort of person she is. And April, this isn't against you, you look to be, to me to be, a lovely woman and um, but I don't know you from Adam, and neither does Tom. And likewise, you, knowing him, you have to get to know each other before you present yourselves as a couple to the kids, the 15 kids, with nine, Tom's nine and your six, before you present yourselves as a couple to these 15 children, whether they be little tots or adults now, doesn't matter. They're all gonna have the same sort of feelings and the same sort of issues with um, this new person in mum's life or this new person in dad's life. And it also matters, the extended family, because that will, um, you know, the ripple effect it will. And Tom, you can't say you haven't been supported by your mother and by Andrea's sisters because they've been massively supportive of you um, and of Andrea when she was alive. So, you know, what sort of interaction is there going to be there? You, you, you've got no idea because you haven't even introduced April to them. Um, I think what you've done now is introduce this lovely woman to your kids and she's interacting with the kids and Solly partic partic particularly well. What's going to happen? Should she come another once or twice and then um, you decide it's not for you, that there's a breakdown in that relationship? The kids aren't going to understand it, are they? You should have given it all more thought 
and all more time. So, 15 kids between you, April's four to five, so probably, not the definite, is it? Nothing's definite in this world, but probably won't be able to have more children, at least not naturally. So, um, there are ways around that, of course, but would you want to? It, these are all things that, yeah, you can say nothing to do with me. Equally, there's certainly not anything to do with the people who come onto your channel asking personal questions. But you spoke about, Tom, you've spoke about these issues in the past, about the fact that you would like more children, blah, blah, blah. Is it something that you pursued with April? Or have you just settled because here's a woman with six kids who is willing, maybe, to uproot and move to Wyoming? I just hope that, at the very least, you have a good friendship and it can continue for the children's sake. I hope there isn't a breakdown and that breakdown doesn't cause more issues with your children. I wish you both well. Okay, bye-bye.